God is all, both invisible and visible. One presence, one mind, one power is all. This one that is all is perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. I am an individualized expression of God, and I am ever one with this perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. The Unity Daily Word we focus on today comes from Friday, May 3rd, 1957, and the word is transcendent prayer. Our affirmation, I transcend myself and all my affairs, for I am spirit. Sometimes our prayers are more mental than spiritual. We try to change some situation or to control some situation through the power of our will or through the power of our thought. But true prayer goes beyond willpower. It goes beyond thought. It lifts us above our problems. As you pray, Release the situation or circumstances that you have been giving your attention to. Say to yourself, I transcend myself and all my affairs, for I am spirit. Think of yourself as a spiritual being, centered in God, filled with his light, life, love and power. You have, within you, untapped spiritual resources. You have, within you, unused spiritual powers. You have, within you, unexplored realms of being. When you lift your consciousness through prayer, you quicken the spiritual self of you. You lay hold and call into expression spiritual qualities and powers that transcend your human understanding. Our scripture with this daily word comes from Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Ye shall receive power when the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Our word for today is transcendent prayer. And our affirmation, I transcend myself and all my affairs, for I am spirit. And so it is. Amen. I am now in the presence of pure being, 
and immerse in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. I acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom, now erase my mortal limitations, and from thy pure substance of love, bring into manifestation my world, according to thy perfect law. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, I am going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay, wait, in the city, Jerusalem, until you have been clothed with power from on high. From the Revealing Word by Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity. The Metaphysical Meaning of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, habitation of peace. The spiritual center in consciousness. In humankind, it is the abiding consciousness of spiritual peace. When we go deep into the silent recesses of our beings, we realize a stillness and sweetness beyond expression. A great peace is there, the peace of God which passes all understanding. This is the point in consciousness where the spiritual energy of life is strong enough to vitalize adjacent body substance. The substance is physically a nerve center just back of the stomach. Spiritually, it is the realization of the unfailing substance of the divine mind. From the Twelve Powers by Charles and Cora Fillmore. Chapter 6 Power, Dominion, Mastery. Humankind does not exercise the power of their spiritual nature because they lack understanding of its character and of their relation to the originating mind in which they exist. From divine mind, humankind inherits power over the forces of their minds. In truth, power over all ideas. A quickening from on high must precede a person's realization 
of their innate control of thought and feeling. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is a quickening of the spiritual nature which is reflected in intellect and in body. As we conclude our readings from chapter 6 of the 12 powers, we focus on the final sentence that Charles Fillmore shares with us. The climax of humankind's power and dominion is set forth in the resurrection and ascension of the type human, Jesus. We are walking in the light, in the light, in the light. We are walking in the light, in the light of God. I am walking in the light, in the light, in the light. I am walking in the light, in the light of God. Good morning. Good morning. And God bless you. How are you today, Michelle? I'm just fantastic, Reverend John. How are you? Good, good, good. We are delighted to be here today. Our lesson today is about prayer and prayer power. We're including an example of metaphysical interpretation, and we also are including a practical uh, story or example. Our three points for today, as we always begin with three points, Michelle. Point number one. If you are writing down the, our, from your <laughs> from our notes today, number one is wait, Michelle. As we were told, uh, we, we read in the Bible, the twelve were told to wait in Jerusalem. Point number two is the word or your word is life. Point number two, your word is life, and then point number three. Your word returns, Michelle. Now, this is going to sound like a, another lesson where we talked about your word can be a boomerang. Yes. And it comes back. But those are our three points today. And we're including some Bible stories and we're including some practical stories. And so we begin. Point number one, Michelle. Wait in Jerusalem. As a matter of fact, we talked about this. Yes. That the 12 were told in the Gospels at before the ascension of Jesus the master teacher that they were to wait for the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost or in fact the word used was the comforter yes when we talked about the different terms that we've used for the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit and the comforter but the basic point is that they were told to wait and these are the important words, the wait yes. in Jerusalem in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit or for the Comforter to come. And then we included a metaphysical definition of what Jerusalem meant, Michelle. And Jerusalem is peace consciousness. So that means they were to wait in a peaceful manner to await the arrival of the comforter or the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Yes, and and again, uh, Charles Fillmore uses the example that when we are waiting in the silence mm. or when we're waiting in the stillness, inspiration comes. Yes. Or our intuitive selves become awakened to, well, endless possibilities, mm -hmm. endless possibilities. So we wait in the silence. 
And by the way, we're not waiting in anger. No. Or in dis ease. We're waiting in Jerusalem, which is a place of peace. And I know you and I talked about this earlier, and I know we have some other points to make, but that as we're waiting and in meditation, in peace, and waiting for that connection with the Holy Spirit, we are doing something. We are praying. We are yes. not waiting idly. We we're not are, waiting idly. Yes. We are in action. We, we tend to say that prayer is an action. Yes. Uh, as opposed to prayer is an inaction. And so... Our, our point number one, again, the idea of waiting. We're waiting till inspiration comes, till, uh, I'm going to say, advice or direction, that impulse to do something, to be into action. We are waiting, but while we're waiting, we're waiting, we're busy. We're busy in prayer. In prayer. And making that connection with Holy Spirit. And we are waiting in peace. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, our other reference we're talking about today, word is life. The word is life. I'm going to say that again. Your word is life. Mm -hmm. A spiritual word is life. And that next, uh, the scripture exercise, to those that use them, to use the word, to use the inspiration, to use the intuition. In other words, we're, we're talking about practice, Practice, practice. If you're, uh, you're if you want a uh, a deeper understanding mm -hmm. or a deeper divine idea or manifestation, as opposed to using the word only. Oh, I have it down here, Michelle. If we just read the word mm -hmm. and we're not doing the word, it's you have a different result uh, and coming your way. And the example that we use is sometimes if you are reading spiritual material, if you are incorporating whatever material you feel is yours to read into your prayer life, into your meditation life, but if you're not using that material, if you're not utilizing it, if you're not taking what you understand from that word and using it in your spiritual growth. Well, I almost want to include supernatural, supernatural. Yes. Okay. That word is supernatural life. Yes. And so practicing what we're reading, practicing what we're ingesting, if you will, practicing that in our lives. In other words, I may read something that tells me, oh, my favorite, our Reiki uh, principles. Okay. Okay, so I, I, I practice my Reiki principles in the morning and I say, just for today, I will not worry. We've, we've covered that before in, in another lesson. Mm -hmm. Just for today, I will not be angry. Healing prayer. Yes, our healing prayer. Just for today, I will be grateful. I will do my work with integrity. I will honor all living things. And I can say that as many times as I want to in the morning, but somewhere in the afternoon I get angry and I can't pull myself back out of anger and remind myself gently, gently that that is what I have used my word for. Then I am kind of contradicting Powerful. it. Powerful. It's, yes. Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And finally, point number three your word returns. Yes. And we have in the Bible, your word does not return unto you void. Does not return unto you void. So there are results. And what has been going on in terms of our month study? What results are we seeing? What's going on in your life and in your world, Michelle? In my life and in my world? Yes. Okay, give me a hint. Where am I going with this? <laughs> well, I know what's going on in my life, my world. We have new lights. Oh. We have new lights in the studio, so oh, yes. we literally had to uh, turn on the light. Yes. We had to turn on the light, so we put new lights in the studio. Okay, so I can expand on that now. I know where I'm going. Okay. We, we, we were, lights were going out, not, not just in the studio, but in several places in our house. And we were saying, hmm, you know, do we need to get around and fix that? Oh, we can go around and try and do things in the dark. And it was like, no, wait a minute. The light went out. Therefore, we need to turn on the light. We need to Another be, metaphor. Yes, we need to be in the light, not in the dark. Be in the light, exactly. Yes. Uh, for, for this Sunday lesson, I found myself driving to our park, our favorite park. Uh, and I sat in the park because, again, it's a quiet place. I was mm -hmm. actually interpreting or actually uh, manifesting Jerusalem 
the idea of going into a quiet place. And you know, Michelle, I drove into the quiet place and I saw that there were a few other cars in the park sure. in the area where I wanted to uh, to meditate and uh, and think about today's lesson. And as I sat in the car, I noticed that there was a, a young uh, woman who was in the park also, but she was there exercising. As many people do. Yes, and and at one point she was exercising. She was walking in one direction and turning around and walking in the other direction. But then I noticed Michelle's surprise. She went into her trunk and pulled out uh, a set of weights. Mm -hmm. And then she held a, a weight in her right hand and her weight a weight in her left hand. And then she started moving in a lateral movement that is uh, side, left, to side. side to side, mm -hmm. same distance, and then she turned around, and then she she was practicing. Mm -hmm. She was, uh, you said she was doing those exercises to strengthen. Strengthen certain muscles. You, certain muscles. Yes, you move in different directions to strengthen different muscles, a lesson that I've learned over the past few months. Okay, yes. so as we're turning the light on, literally, mm -hmm. uh, or, or focusing our direction on, on new information, why are we here? We're here to strengthen those uh, those right. prayer muscles. We're, yes. Those meditation uh, exercises are here to to help us to grow our I'm going to say our prayer practice. Yes. And our manifesting uh, miraculous or surprisingly uh, wonderful things in our lives. That's true, and that's that that can't get enough emphasis. We are here to grow our muscles of prayer and meditation and to receive inspiration through that process yes. and then utilize that inspiration in our lives or pay attention to the lessons that we're learning and using them as we grow spiritually sitting in prayer we grow spiritually as we put it into our life action. Thank you Michelle. Mm -hmm. And yes as we summarize the lesson for today our three points were Point number one, we're here to wait, to wait on power from above. Point number two, we're using that word, that declaration. We're saying that word is a spiritual word that actually is life. And it will take us well on a different direction, perhaps. Point number three, your word will return. The word returns. Whatever that word is, Michelle, mm -hmm. it will return and manifest at a different level. So again, those are our three points for today. We invite all of our uh, church community, our spiritual community, our YouTube community, yes, to uh, should you choose to uh, rewind or take a look at our previous lessons, we invite you to our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. where again we can study the power that was. Uh, January and February, March and April, and then May. And again, those those lessons included the study of January faith and the disciple Peter. In February, strength and the disciple Andrew. In March, March and, and April, April, I usually like to say the sons of Zebedee. Yes, that's. Uh, Judgment or discernment, mm -hmm. wisdom, and of course love, James and John, and then our disciple for the month of May, May Philip, representing power. And we are so grateful to have you here. We're delighted to be here to continue our lessons, and we're looking forward to our lesson coming up on imagination in June. Ooh. But we're going to stop right here, Michelle, and hold hands and say thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. And thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So breathe in and exhale. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. Amen.
our offertory blessing today. Together. Divine love, through me, blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive. I praise, give thanks, and am glad. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. And let us close today with our prayer for protection by James Dillard Freeman. Together. The, the light, light of, of God, God surrounds, surrounds us. The, the love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. The Daily Word is reproduced with permission of Unity, publisher of The Daily Word. Website, dailyword.com.